All right? I'll jump first. No. Nope. Then you jump first. No, I said. What's the matter with you? I can't swim! <laughs> A staple of classic cinema, the Western genre helped define the early film history of the U.S., Mexico, and even Italy. Going back to 1903, Westerns have influenced filmmakers such as Kazan, Kurosawa, Scorsese, Tarantino, Lucas, Cameron, Eastwood, and Cronenberg. It also helped shape several sci-fi, noir, and fantasy films, as well as novels by Tolkien, King, and other famous authors. Honoring one of the most important and representative film genres of American culture, we have prepared a list with 10 of the best and most influential cowboy movies of all time. How much do you know about movies? Let's test your knowledge with a quick trivia question. What was the first ever Western movie? Was it Winchester 73, My Darling Clementine, or The Great Train Robbery? If you want to know the answer, stay with us, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell. Let's get started. Number 10. Rio Bravo the best of Howard Hawks' Rio's trilogy, Rio Bravo is comprised not only of a mixture of suspense, adventure, romance, humor, and even musical numbers, but also shows a story of friendship, jealousy, and rivalry that's very difficult to forget. The characters in the film give life to a very fun and very well done Western movie. Number 9. True Grit Although it was underestimated by many critics and the general public, the True Grit remake by the Coen brothers showed us a more witty, different, real, and entertaining film comprised of epic performances led by the incredible Jeff Bridges, who plays an anti-hero mercenary hired by a young woman to track down the man who killed her father. Number 8. The Magnificent Seven Despite not having achieved the artistic genius of Akira Kurosawa's film The Seven Samurai, John Sturge has managed to make a fresh adaptation that respected the rules that define the Western, using them for the convenience of his story. In this way, he managed to make a funny movie where a sheriff gathers a group of gunmen to help a small town on the border of Mexico. Number 7. High Noon This is one of the few exercises in movie history that develops a story in real time. In this film, for 84 minutes, the director uses all of his experience in the language of cinema. While preparing to leave town, a newly married sheriff has to put off retirement so that he can face down several dangerous outlaws alone. Number 6. Stagecoach The first great western also made John Wayne a movie star. With a magnificent handling of drama, romance, suspense, action, and comedy, John Ford, with the help of nine different characters looking for a home and a new dream, managed to recreate an original idea of Ernest Haycox and turn it into an exciting odyssey. He reaffirmed why he was, still is, and will be one of the great directors in Hollywood. Number 5. Shane True to its western roots, Shane, unlike other films of the same genre, avoids the comic tone to showcase in each scene and each performance the marginal state in which many families survived during the post-conquest era. It shows a raw protagonist who's far from the conventional hero. Based on the 1949 novel of the same name, this film presents Alan Ladd in the lead role as a gunman who tries in vain to leave his past behind to establish himself as the owner of an idyllic valley in Wyoming. Number 4. Unforgiven Wild and audacious, Unforgiven is the crudest and closest film to the reality of that desolate and mean time. Full of uncomfortable silences and deep violence, Clint Eastwood breaks down the myths and legends of the West and creates an innovative, unforgettable, and above all else, impressive masterpiece that won Oscars for Best Picture and Best Director. Number 3. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly A beautiful mythological story, this film shows three outlaws with very different motivations and personalities that pursue the same goal, a treasure hidden in a cemetery. Innovative and enormously influential, Composed of memorable scenes including the authentic and moving sequence of the Civil War, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly is perhaps the best known and most loved film of the Spaghetti Westerns. Number 2. The Wild Bunch A hymn to death and one of the clearest examples of human evil, The Wild Bunch is a very bloody and very cruel western, full of complexity and beauty. It's a film with a high level of violence that shows a group of outlaws who watch the world they know disappear. Filled with controversy, its violence and nihilism represents and symbolizes the end of the classic American western as we know it. Do you want to know the answer to our trivia? Let's take a look before we get to the number one in on our list. What was the first ever Western movie? Was it Winchester 73, My Darling Clementine, or The Great Train Robbery? The answer is The Great Train Robbery. The first Western in cinema history was this silent film shot in 1903, directed by Edwin S. Porter. Did you guess the answer? Let us know in the comments below. Now let's get back to our countdown. Our number one cowboy movie is The Searchers. Considered to be John Ford's masterpiece, The Searchers is a display of an intense and diverse range of visual technique. It also goes deep into the psychology and the relationship between its characters as they make a desperate search in the vast Wild West territory. In this film, John Wayne gives perhaps his most intense performance yet. 
interpreting a combative and complex man whose racism and desire for revenge creates a situation that's far from the typical war between cowboys and Indians. We're almost done, but before we go, here are some highlights from some other great cowboy films. You know, there are only two things more beautiful than a good gun. A Swiss watch or a woman from anywhere. You ever had a good Swiss watch? When I questioned you about that boy, I should have gone a bit deeper into the subject of character. I came to call Sorry, Jimmy. Sorry for what? A year ain't nothing. I can hide out that long. Look out for her, will you? You bet. How much a blood? Hey, kid. How good are you? I sure like that name. Clementine. That's all for our top 10 countdown. We hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment below, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a like. We publish videos several times a week, so ring that bell to be notified when we post new content.